Criminal Investigation Division of IRS, how may I help you? Yes, I received a call um, from somebody from this number saying that I needed to give them a call back uh, from the IRS. I'm looking for Mr. Cole White. This is. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? I'm fine. I'm just trying to get to the figure out what's going on. Sir, my name is Michael Jennings from Criminal Investigation Division of IRS. Okay. The uh reason behind... Yeah, the reason behind my call is to inform you that we received an arrest warrant case file under your name. So did you receive any phone call from your local police department till now? Um, I haven't yet. What's going on? Are you trying to say you've not been aware about the situation happening under your name? I, I'm, I'm not aware of anything. Please tell me what's happening. I'm, uh, what's going on? All right, Mr. Cole, in that case, I want you to grab a pen and a piece of paper so that you can write down some information. Absolutely. You ready? I'm, I'm ready. First of all, let me start with the case ID. It starts with C as in Charlie. Okay, C. K, K as in Kevin. Okay. 846042. 846042. Yes. Okay. And your warrant? Yes, and your warrant identification number starts with 00. Okay. 100. 100. Zero, zero. 3636. 3636. And you're talking to Officer Michael Jennings? Michael Jennings, okay. And my batch ID number starts with J as in Jack, M as in Mary, number 7792. 7792. You don't have to write down anything, you just have to listen to me carefully so that it will be easier for you to understand what is this all about, okay? Okay. All right. First of all, uh, this is a three-way conference call with the Department of Homeland Security. So whatever you speak or commit, that should be truth and honest because this phone recording can be serving in front, the, in front of the Bar Council of your state to prove you innocent or guilty. Is that been okay, Mr. Cole? Y yes, absolutely. Okay. Now, Mr. Cole, you have been found suspicious and breaching three important laws of United States. Count one, violation of Internal Revenue Services Act 1956. Count two, violation of Federal Tax Rules and Regulation Act 1989. Count three, providing misleading information to the government authorities. Now, I had a question for you, Mr. Cole. Who is filing your taxes? You yourself, or do you have a public accountant? I use an accounting service. How long you have been using accounting services? About seven years. About seven years, all right. Now, proceeding further, the IRS has conducted an audit a random audit on your last five-year tax file papers, and they found that there are lots of errors in 1040A form, 941C form, and Schedule H form. And because of those errors, there is a miscalculated tax amount pending under your name, which you still owe to the government, to the IRS department. Okay? Okay. Now, I had a questions for you, like a very few legal questions which you need to answer me, yes or no. The first question is like, have you ever been arrested before by any state police or any sheriff department? Oh God, no. Have you ever been filed bankruptcy or a foreclosure in the past? No. Have you ever been issued any tickets by the traffic police? Well, certainly. Okay. Are the judgments still pending under your name? I'm sorry, I didn't understand the question. Are there any judgments still pending under your name? No. 
I believe that you have answered all my questions with the utmost honesty. Now proceeding further to give you such limited information, which I believe I already did. Now at this moment of time, you got two options left from our side. The first option you got that is you can fight this case against the government in the court by hiring a tax attorney. And the second option you got that is you can simply resolve this case. You can sort this out today outside the court by making the payments back to the IRS department. Well, how, so what how, is your, how much, um, how much are you saying that I owe? How much is the miscalculation? So the IRS, on the records of the IRS, it seems like that you owe $2,997 at this moment of time. I see. Oh, man, that's that's really serious. Um, geez, but I bet you that's, that's less than having to pay an attorney and all of that. Um, how would I go about paying that then just to get this taken care of? Uh, first of all, I have to be sure that you really want to make this payment because, sir, as you understand, I am not forcing you to decide anything. It's just you only. You have to decide it from your end whether you want to resolve the case or whether you want to proceed further with the legal stuff. Okay? No, the the legal sc stuff sounds really scary. Um, I, I don't want to deal with all that. I would rather just get it taken care of. I don't want to be in any kind of trouble. Okay, no problem. Now... It is not so easy in order to make these payments and in order to resolve the case because you have to uh, understand what are the privacy laws which you are getting at this moment in, in order to resolve the case and that you have to, uh, you know, proceed with that, payment procedures and all. So the privacy laws which, have, which we have at this moment is the first question and the first thing which I need to tell you that is you cannot disconnect or hang up this line until and unless the resolvement is not been closed, okay? Okay. The second is, you cannot put me on a mute or hold for this case as it is a three-way conference call and all the senior persons are listening to the conversation, okay? I see, okay. And in order to make these payments, first of all, I have to ask you, do you have a sufficient balance available with you? $2,997? Oh, yes, absolutely. All right. You can make this payment by using a tax pay card. Do you know what is called tax pay card? No. Is is that um, like a credit card? No, sir. A tax pay card, you can get it from any of your supermarket store, any grocery store or any kind of, uh, you know, departmental store. Do you have any such store available near to you? I, I believe I'd be able to go to a, a supermarket nearby and get one of those. Okay, what kind of super supermarkets are available near to you? Um, what is the name? I, I, I believe there's a, a super value or a pick and save nearby. Okay. And what kind of departmental stores are there near to you? Um, like the mall, is that what you mean? I'm sorry? Like the mall? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what this yeah. card is. I, I could certainly go there. I want to do whatever is necessary to get this taken care of. I certainly don't want to be in any trouble with the government. Do you have, a, like, a, any kind of a TurboTax uh, store or any kind of that? I, I maybe I I really don't know. I've never been in this situation before. Okay. Well, what I'll do is I'll be collecting you to my accounts division officer so that you can take care of this issue from his side. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Kindly hold the line. Okay. Okay. So at this point, this is kind of obviously a bunch of bullshit, right? Um, I put him on mute. So if this really is an IRS guy, I'm in trouble. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I'm on hold right now waiting for Department of Homeland Security agent Big Dick from, uh, from India to get on the line and 
try to take my money from me. Let's see how this goes. Sir, I, it seems like uh, there is some problem with the accounts division, and uh, so I'll be the person who will be informing you all the stuff, okay? Okay. All right. Now, I That's believe correct. that's right? Yes. It's 425 South Adams Street, 2202 Green Bay. That's right. 54301. Yep. You're working with White Law Offices, right? LLC. That's correct. Correct. Okay. So you are an attorney, by the way. I, I am. I'm, in fact, a criminal defense attorney and deal with tax issues all the time. How long you have been in this profession, by the way? Oh, I, I've been I've been up here um, at this office for uh, almost four years now. Um, so you know, I, I was really surprised to get this call. Um, you know, given given my history in working with the IRS, it's a really really surprising. And who is filing your taxes, by the way? You yourself, or do you have an accountant? No, I, I have an accountant that deals with my taxes. Um, and, and we, you know, we've always filed and everything's always worked out okay. So this call is pretty surprising, uh, you know, as, as an attorney uh, and in good standing with our state bar and having worked with the IRS on tax issues in the past for other clients. Um, I, I, this is really unusual, and I'm I'm really surprised because the IRS never calls people. Then in that case, you can you had an option if you have if you are an attorney, you can fight this case against the government. That would be a good option for you. How oh. about that? I, I yeah, you know, as I think about it, that may make a lot of sense, um, Officer Jennings. Um, what what is your IRS ID number? I given you, sir. Are you, well, you and Jack. You, you gave me a, a badge number JM seven seven nine two. That's not yeah. that's not a federal identification number, though. That is a badge ID number, sir. That's that's not a that's not an IRS federal ID number. That is the IRS federal ID number, sir. It, it isn't you can though. Search it down. It it really really you can search it down. It really, really isn't though. Where where were you yeah. where were you born, Mike? I'm sorry. Where where were you born, Mr. Jennings? Virginia. Vir West Virginia, by the way. Where in Virginia? Vienna. Vienna, Virginia. Yeah. How far is that from Arlington? I'm sorry. How far is that from Arlington? Too too long. Um, what what school did you go to? I don't think I have to uh, give you the examination or something like that. You're nobody who can ask me that kind of questions. Well, actually, I yeah. I am as yeah. as an attorney, and so you're you talking are, to me now and no. engaging in a legal discussion. I think I'm entitled no, to. No, not at all. No, if you are a legal representative or whoever you are, then do one thing. Wait for the legal consequences. Once it will be appearing on your name, then it would be fine that you can ask me legal questions. But at this moment, you are nobody you can ask me or you, can, you are nobody you can tell me about this thing. Okay, why don't you give me a mailing address so I can send you a subpoena so I can answer the ask you these questions, okay? Repeat it again. Um, I need a mailing address for your IRS location so that I can send a subpoena so I can depose you, Mr. Jennings. Send your penis to your mom. That would be worth it. How about that? Send, send my subpoena to my mom. That's very no unprofessional mom. for an IRS investigator. Oh, Mike? Did I lose you, Mike? Oh.